joined live by Dr. Michio Kaku, professor of physics at City University of New York and host of Sci-Fi Science on the Sci-Fi Channel. Science good, Channel. You know, right? Science Channel, mm -hmm. exactly. You were talking to us last night, and you seemed like you were pretty convinced that it was a missile, but this morning, you've changed your mind. I'm beginning to lean toward the airplane theory for two major reasons. First of all, the smoking gun. The smoking gun is the radar sightings in the area, and they see nothing traveling at a fast velocity, only airplanes. And second, irregularities in the trail itself. It seems to change direction. Ballistic missiles don't do that. It doesn't accelerate. Ballistic missiles accelerate up to 18,000 miles per hour. This is traveling at a constant velocity, and it's going in the wrong direction. Ballistic missiles go east to west from Vandenberg to Kwajalein in the Pacific. This one seems to be going north and south. And so for all these reasons, I now lean toward the airplane theory. You lean toward it. Have you completely ruled out that you think it's a You missile? can't completely rule it out. However, the trail, if you take a look at it frame by frame, you can begin to see that it could very well be an, an airplane uh, comm trail. Realize that comm trails expand very rapidly. So the base expands faster than the top. Mm -hmm. And as a consequence, you get a distorted impression of which way the airplane's going. The airplane could actually be coming toward you rather than away from you because of the illusion that the trails expand very rapidly, giving you a distorted sense of motion. Yeah, that's a bit what Martha was talking about also. And then at sunset also, that could contribute uh, to it. And edge on, <clears throat> something that's coming out horizontally looks like it's going vertical. Mm -hmm. If, if it were a missile, you would think that more people would have reported it. I mean, it's L.A., and it's a, a lot of air traffic over there. That's right. And you'd figure that it would go up into the atmosphere, and other nations would pick it up on their radar. We see no indication of an accelerating object in the upper atmosphere. Therefore, it's probably not a ballistic missile. So that's mm -hmm. why I'm beginning to lean more toward the uh, airplane I theory. See. And then you bring up radar. Wouldn't that just settle it? It's usually the smoking gun, and what they say is very interesting. They say no unidentified objects, meaning nothing's going out of the ordinary, nothing's accelerating like a ballistic missile, just airplanes in the area. Mm -hmm. And again, pilots see no, no, nothing out of the ordinary, but pilots look at the comm trail from a different angle. So when we look at something edge on, it looks like it's going vertical. When a pilot looks at it, he sees something going horizontal. And that's why pilots can say they see nothing out of the ordinary. And as Martha said, we may never know for sure. We may never know for sure. No definitive answer. No definitive answer, but I'm leading toward the airplane theory. It's Occam's razor. The simplest, the simplest solution is sometimes the best. <laughs> That's the way to go. <laughs> Dr. Kaku, thank you very much. As always, you're a good friend of the program. We appreciate your time. Mm -hmm.